What up guys, I'm Light Light, and I'm here with Jezza as always. What up guys? And today we have a tutorial for you on how to build some cobblestone rigs. These are similar to oil rigs, where they pump out cobblestone from the ground. And... That's a simple little example of them there. Just continually pumping out cobblestone. Basically it's just a cobblestone generator down below, and a piston constantly pumping it up. Not a very hard design, but works well. We haven't had too much yeah. trouble with it does what it needs to do, which is pretty much provide you with as much cobblestone as you can handle, really. And here we have a pre-dug hole, as it took a while to dig a hole there. Isn't and that convenient? The basic sizing is 6 or on the length side, 7 wide, and 5 deep. And we've just added this nice little wooden border around just, there. So we know what we're working with here. Yeah. Okay. So now we jump down. And the basic idea is to get the cobblestone generating right in the middle. So we count four from the side, find the middle, which will be... Uh, we run it just a bit to the front, because we leave one square extra at the back, keep it in the middle there, just that way we can put a hatch at the back there, so you can climb down, just make sure the system's working. And it's one, two, three, four. And that's where the cobblestone will be generated, Underneath that, you want the piston, and I don't have any pistons. Uh, do you not? I might have one for you. Yes, that would be good. That is a furnace. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hold on. I will oh, take that. Oh, do I? Okay, we've got this. Put this down. Oh, piston there. I place a bit of cobblestone there just to know that that's the part that will be generating it. To the side, onto the side, and now we want to create the. That'll be a waterfall there, and then it'll be lava on this side. So we grab some dirt. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, two, two. And this will basically hold the lava and water in place, so it doesn't spread out, go crazy, and God knows what it'll take out. Alright. Chuck the. Probably best to put the water on this side, seeing as how we'll be making a latch here. Very nice. Voila. Just double check that it works. <laughs> Beautiful. So that's working now. Funderberg. Alright. Now we Let's make the circuitry. Count that out. One, two, three. Oops, it's one too many. Underground. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think I remember that was four to get to the piston. One, two, three, four. Yep. That's four. One, two, three, four. And red wire is good. Just chuck it underneath the piston and it'll work. Okay. Make some room for this loop series. Okay. A dark over here. Okay. And this loop circuit basically works on a square. Nothing too complicated. Just an infinite loop of uh, electricity that keeps running around in circles. There we go. There's your basic system. Arrows are all pointing anti-clockwise. You can make it clockwise, doesn't really matter. And you want to set your um, repeaters to all on three, just so that way it gives the cobblestone enough time to generate each each round. Okay, and it's looking good still. And you have to prime this circuit, which is pretty easy. Not too hard. Uh, just dig a bit of room there. Um, and you don't want to prime it for too long. I will show you what happens when you prime it for too long. If you prime it for too long, the whole series gets electricity through it. And as you heard the piston, it only piss dicks! Push one out, and it won't continue on. It has to have a break in the circuit. So we'll break this, let it drain, fill it back up, put one in for a second. There we go. 
Uh, test it. Yep. Very nice. Seems to be working. Working nicely. We'll climb out. Oh, I'll let you out. Thank you. And, uh, put some sand here. And that's the reason we kept the lava just below the ground level, so you can cover it up. Don't want anyone falling in, losing all their diamond tools, as that <laughs> seems to happen in single player. Yes. Absolute pain in the butt. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. And we run obsidian on the top, just that way it stops it. You don't want it going to the sky, because there is a, I think there's a 12 block limit with pistons, how far they can yeah. reach. Normally push about 12, so... Yeah, so you don't want it going skyrocketing and we <laughs> can't get to it. Um, and we just put a latch on the back here. Yeah, just make it look a bit prettier. And that way you can go in there, service it if it's not working for some reason. Um, and you can play with the repeaters to make it regenerate faster, but you do have to make sure you don't go too fast where you're beating the cobblestone generator with which is basically the lava and the water creating the cobblestone because you can beat that and if you're beating it it just won't generate anything. Yeah, you'll just hear skips. Yep. And yeah, these are pretty consistent. Like, we'll only get one skip every, I don't know, 10, 10 or 15. Yeah. So they work... Most of the time it's pretty good though. Yeah. And then you can decorate downstairs. Oh, very nice. Jez has got nice. that nice home, have home touch. All the essentials. You could even live in here, really. If you're yeah. that afraid of monsters, just live with your infinite cobblestone source. Just bunker down in one of these bad boys. And that's pretty much it. The system down here isn't too hard. Just a small little loop, setting the piston on constantly. Don't have to worry about levers turning it on or off. It just can stay on always. Doesn't really Yeah. Matter. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. We basically thought of design in a farm like an oil rig farm. Yeah. Putting four. Have a together. bunch of them. And, God, you can allocate them to people if you really want. And yeah, yeah. Look nice. Nothing too bad about them. Simple design. Infinite supply of cobblestone. But yeah, we got more tutorials coming up, guys. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up with all the latest news. And remember to favorite, like, and comment this video if you found it helpful at all. And yeah, our next little project we've got planned is a zombie omatic. So definitely stay tuned for that. Catch, guys. Catch. Oh, 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 oh,